All right, guys, and to review intercept form or factored form, all of the things that we can say about the intercept form is that the equation is y equals a, x minus p, x minus q. The vertex, to find the vertex through the intercept form, we would take the p and the q, add them together, and divide by two. When we identify the p and the q, notice how the formula has subtraction signs in there. So in intercept form, similar to the h in vertex form, it's the opposite sign that you see. Once you do the p plus q divided by two and you get that x value for your vertex, then just plug in that x value to the equation and solve for your y value. Then you can plot that point. The intercept form is called intercept form because it gives you your x intercepts. Your p and your q are your x intercepts. So pull out the p and the q and you've got both of those points. For your y-intercept, you can plug zero in for your x and solve for your y. And as always, your axis of symmetry is the x value of your vertex. So your axis of symmetry is that vertical line going through that x value. Let's do some example problems together. So here, again, we've got a little imaginary one there to identify that our a is one. Our P, when we go to pull this out, it's the opposite of what we see is negative two. Our Q, same thing, it's the opposite of what we see. It's a positive four. Automatically, we have our X intercepts. That's the beauty of intercept form. Our X intercepts are negative two, zero and four, zero, and I can plot that, negative two, zero, four, zero. For my vertex, I'm gonna take my P plus my Q, negative two plus four, and divide it by two. Negative two plus four is two, two divided by two is one. That's my X coordinate, so now I just have to plug one in for X, in my equation and solve for my y. Again, another um, way to say f of x is y. So they're interchangeable. If that confuses you, just cross f of x out and put a y. So I'm plugging one in for X, one plus two gives me three, but one minus four gives me negative three. Three times negative three gives me a nine. Altogether, my vertex is one, negative nine. One, negative nine is right here. At this point, I have three points and I can connect the dots. All right, so hopefully you can test this out now. For numbers two, three, and four, try it out. And some helpful hints on the back, which equation best represents the graph. So things that I can identify right off the bat are my x-intercepts. Um, so again, my x-intercept is negative three, zero, and one, zero, but in the equation, it's the opposite of what you see. So I'm looking for a positive three and a negative one. So positive three, positive three, not this one, not this one, positive three. There we go, positive threes, negative ones. The other thing I can identify is that my graph is opening up. So this would indicate that it's opening down. Clearly it's opening up. So this guy would be our answer. 
which statement is false about the quadratic equation. So again, I'm gonna pull out my P, which is four, my Q is eight, my A is negative. Um, so that should tell me if my A is negative, it's opening down, that should tell me whether I have a max or min. To figure out my vertex, you're gonna do the P plus your Q, the four plus eight divided by two, and then plug that X value back into the equation for your Y. Okay, and your X intercept, you're gonna set zeros for your X and solve for your Y. So you can identify which statement, there's one statement in here that is false. What is the vertex of the graph of the function? So vertex, I'm pulling out my P, my Q, Add them together, divide by two. That gives you your X vertex. And that should be enough because all of the X vertexes are different too. You can stop after that. Okay, it's one that will work out. Determine the equation of the axis of symmetry for the parabola that passes through the points, negative four zero and six zero. I am a visual person. If you are too, just Sketch this out real quick. Negative four, zero, six, zero. Okay. My axis of symmetry will be in the middle between these two points. Because if my graph is here, my, remember my quadratic graph is symmetrical. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm 10 units across. That means five over will be exactly in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. So right here would be my axis of symmetry. So that is at the X equals one. Another way you can do this is by taking these two points and finding the midpoint of them using the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula is just saying the um, average of your X's. So negative four plus six divided by two. Okay, it's also the formula to find the vertex X. That would be my P plus Q divided by two. It's all the same thing. Which set of data is correct for the quadratic equation? I can pull out my P and Q and then compare. I can take my P plus Q divided by two and get my X value and then plug it back in to get my Y value. My X value should match my axis of symmetry. And then I'm plugging zero in for X and solving for my Y for my Y intercept. So you can narrow it down from there. Hope, so. Hope this helps. 